I want to highlight the recent tales of former White House Communication Director Hope Hicks and South Dakota Governor Christy Noem. Both of these individuals, I believe, felt that their white privilege would protect them from criticism and reputation damage. You see, Hope Hicks recently testified in the hush money trial, election interference trial, all wrapped up in the one against Donald Trump. And what she revealed said more about her than it did about him. During the Access Hollywood debacle, where Trump was recorded and videotaped saying how he treated women and what he was able to get away with because he was a star, Hope Hicks was in the center of the damage control to continue to try to get Trump elected president despite what she knew about him. She didn't walk away. She didn't stand on principle. She actually said, deny, deny, deny. And she also revealed that Trump was aware of the scheme involving Stormy Daniels' payoff to keep her quiet right before the 2016 election about an affair he had with her years ago. And, you know, she didn't walk away. She was there when January 6th happened because she had returned to the White House as some sort of a counselor to the president. She didn't seem to put a whole lot of effort into getting him to stop the carnage that was taking place when his supporters attacked the United States Capitol. So Hope Hicks revealed that it was all about power. And at that point, she broke down and cried on the stand. I think she realized, what have I just revealed about myself? The other Christy known, who wants to be Trump's vice presidential running mate, wrote a book to boost her chances. And in that book, she revealed a tale of how she killed her dog, Cricket, because it was a bad dog. She took it to a gravel pit and basically shot it in the face a couple of times and said the dog was unruly, untrainable, and she thought this was going to make her look like a mega tough Barbie. It actually just made her look like a cruel, out-of-touch individual. So she thought her grace that she had from being what I would say is attractive and white would protect her. Actually, it just repulsed most people that heard the story. And now she's in full damage control. But the damage has been done. Not only will she not be Trump's running mate, she may be done with politics, period, because of the backlash. And Folks, this is just an example of when people assume that their privilege will protect them in all cases. But that's not true, and these two just found out.